uh, the you know a good start at the beginning, but then you kind of. <laughs> well, I don't think they ever really stopped us. We stopped ourselves. I don't know how many penalties we have. Yeah. You know, when you're wide open, no huddle. Right. <laughs> and we're running so many RPOs where sometimes we throw it, sometimes we run it. You're going to get some linemen downfield occasionally. Yeah. You hope that the officials let it go, but today they didn't. Yeah. So uh, we're just happy that we hung in there with a 5A school uh, yeah. and had a chance. I told them all week. If we can somehow get to the last quarter with a chance to win, I believe we'll win it. I believe our athletes will take the game over. So we're very fortunate. Y'all's defense, that goal line stand made it for you. Yeah, well, you know, we've kind of had the attitude, bend, don't break. You know, we just don't have enough people to run a three-man front. We got so many guys playing both ways. I mean, a four-man yeah. front, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we got to give up something. So we kind of give up the run with the hopes that just keep hitting them, make them work the score, and we finally did that. They came up big, and then um, we made some big first downs here. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we were, we we're just fortunate. Right now, the game's kind of a buzz. It's two weeks right. in a row where, you know, the game's not really well, decided until right. the last second ticks off. You know, uh, but it's good that our team is well enough now that I said this four or five years ago. It'd be nice one day when the plays that I call in the last minute or two of the game matter. You know, so. Uh, we feel very fortunate, and um, uh, our kids played hard. Really. Talk about making plays. Talk about the play where um, where Reed completed the Taylor after he made a couple of runs. Oh, geez. I mean, you know, that's my son, so I have to be careful not to brag too much, but uh, that's what he does. He extends plays. Sometimes it gets you in trouble, but I tell our guys, don't worry about it. Two out of three times, it's probably going to work in our favor. Just keep lining up. Things go back, or sooner or later, somebody's going to score. What's been the difference with this team early on compared to last year? Well, <laughs> we got some more players. Uh, you know, of course, Reed's a little older. Uh, the, the guy that's playing quarterback has the ability to scramble and extend plays. In the weight room, our kids have got a lot stronger. And we've had four or five kids move into the area that, uh, you know, are really good players. So the combination of things, a good senior leadership out of Quentin Hook and, and Philip, um, um, my Phillips boy, I mean, they've just been good leaders, and that's the biggest difference, just uh, doing what you're supposed to do all the time. Of course, games like this prepares you for region play. At this point, just how ready are y'all to get into region play? I think we're ready to go to region now, but unfortunately, we still got two more games. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to tell our guys is keep moving like that, keep moving like a ladder, keep moving one step at a time. We got next week off, and then we got a strong chaping team. That game's always going to be close. That's going to be another one. I can go ahead and tell you right now, I'll make the prediction. <laughs> Somewhere about three or four minutes in the game, we'll find out who's going to win it. <laughs>